Hello, all my LTYG people. I received a question from one of you which inspired me to film this three-part series on the topic of perfectionism. You are all such an inspiration to me, so a big thanks to all of you for your feedback, questions, wonderful comments. I love receiving them. I'm also happy to hear that some of my YouTube videos have been helpful to you all. If you'd like to continue receiving healing and gut-related information, please like and subscribe to our LTYG channel. Now to the question I received. It really made me think about this idea of perfectionism with protocols. Many people believe there is a perfect protocol out there somewhere and when they find it they're magically going to be healed. But the reality is there is no perfect protocol. The only perfect protocol is the one that your body needs. Now Jeannie has an entire laser tapping session based on the idea of perfectionism, which I highly recommend, um, as well as a blog post on the magic pill paradigm so you can further understand why we fall into this pattern of thinking. And I'll link them both in the video description below for you as well to check out. In my opinion, healing holistically requires some creativity. Throughout my healing journey, my entire care team had to think outside of the box to provide solutions for me that actually worked as I was hypersensitive to everything. But even if you are not hypersensitive, the principles remain the same. It requires a lot of out of the norm perspectives and ideas to customize and create a solution that fits for you and your body. Now, if you are not a creative person naturally, don't freak out. This is not the end all be all. I am just suggesting to try looking at things and protocols from a different light. Ask yourself, how could I adjust this product or modality to better tolerate it. What times of the day or night am I taking blank supplement? It really helped me to write all of my observations down on paper to clarify whether something was actually making a symptom worse or causing new symptoms. And these are just two questions, you know, to kind of get your mind going. I ask myself these questions frequently, and then when an idea pops into my head that I think would benefit me, I give it a try. And that's how I got to speak to you about all of my experiences because I wasn't afraid to try new things. Next video, I'll be discussing when it's time to change protocols, the best times to introduce new products or supplements into your routine to most minimize, you know, any negative effects. And of course, drop a comment below if you have found this helpful or you have any questions and you can reach out to us. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see all of our latest content. Until next time, happy healing and remember always listen to your gut.